Well, thanks for being here, everybody. Um, I'd like to just introduce myself. My name is Aviva McClure. I'm the director of the Cascade Festival of African Films. Um, and I'm so delighted to be here with Eugenie Jolivet Fontana, who is the associate director and my plus one, um, as well as um, as well as three students from Catlin Gable, which is a, a school community here in Portland, Oregon, that I am excited to um, have been involved with in the past. Um, and I know that uh, you all are high school students. I'd love for you to introduce yourselves. So I'm gonna kick it first to Papa. How would you like to introduce yourself? Maybe you can tell us your, your name, uh, your grade and something you're interested in. Um, I'm Papa Diallo. I am currently in ninth grade. And something that interests me is soccer. Awesome. I love soccer too. So I'm right there with you. How long have you been playing soccer? Uh, I've been playing for four to five years. Awesome. Great. Um, Isaiah, welcome. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, yeah, my name is Isaiah Dada. I'm in 10th grade and I really enjoy music and drawing. Fantastic, that's great. So are you taking art classes at Catlin Gable? Um, yeah, I took some last year. I had to take a break this year because I'm taking more courses that I just wanna like broaden my horizon with but I really do enjoy doing art on the side whenever I have time. That's so, yeah. great. Thank you for being here. And Malcolm, welcome. Uh, I'm Malcolm Grant. I'm a senior at Catlin. Um, and something that I really enjoy, uh, I'm pretty heavily involved with musical theater and theater in general at Catlin. Um, I've been at shows for a long time and uh, singing and acting are things that I really enjoy doing. Awesome. It's going to be so great to have your perspective here, Malcolm. Um, and I know that the three of you are so busy with classes right now, like y'all are swamped. So it's it's really a gift to have you here. Uh, Eugenie, would you like to introduce yourself as well? Yeah, so I'm Eugenie Jolivet Fontana. Um, as Aviva stated, I am the Associate Director. My background is from the theater realm. Um, but I also am in the design background. So that's where I came from, design and illustration and all the things. So all of y'all are speaking my language. <laughs> so it's, it's also amazing to see like um, the potential and, and the opportunities I will have to be able to be in the creative field. It's quite, quite moving right now. Um, yeah, and I'm really happy to be here and share with you. And um, the thing I'm interested in right now, um, I would say that is um, punch needle. I have a punch needle project that I got to finish. It's basically kind of using yarn and a canvas like fabric and you sort of punch it in and make the shape out of it. So that's what I'm into right now. Cool, thank you, Eugenie. Well, I just would love to open up the conversation. You know, we just watched We Students, which is a film from uh, the Central African Republic. It's a documentary about students, a group of four friends kind of as the core group followed um, through their transitions in college. So I'm curious to hear from you all, what did you think of this film overall um, and based on your experience, culture and background? And anyone can jump in and then we'll just kind of build off of what the person before us said. Well, I can, I can take a good start us off. Um, this, was, this was a really interesting film to see. Um, I feel like based on my own personal experience, I've never, I don't think I've ever really seen a film like this. Um, I mean, I think, stylistically it was pretty different from a lot of films I've seen I mean most of this obviously I think most of the stuff I've seen is mostly like commercial films so um you know just like stuff you would see in theaters and this was like a really different style from that obviously because it's a small project but um 
it was really cool. I feel like I learned I, I learned a lot kind of from the the sort of cultural authenticity of it, I feel like. Um, it was really enlightening, I think, overall. Uh, to build off what Malcolm said about the style, one thing I found really intriguing was the use of song and music and how I found the music very enlightening and how the music went on to clarify what's going on in the film, which I found really interesting. Yeah, building off both of what Malcolm and Papa said, the music really gave like context into the film, which is something I haven't really seen before and I thought was an interesting stylistic choice. Um, additionally, I thought it was cool how the person taking the video was also in the film, like they were a character in the film or a part of it. I thought they gave it a different vibe than what I've seen in like commercial movies. And also just learning more about Africa as a whole because my family were based in West Africa mainly. So I get a lot from there, but it was interesting to see how different parts are and seeing like the similarities and differences there. Excellent, yeah, thank you all so much. And I'm, I'm glad Papa that you brought up music. I'd love to come back to that, like somehow if we can, because I'd love to hear more about that. Um, but kind of returning to what you just said, Isaiah, um, I'm curious to hear about what some of those similarities are, particularly for you that, um, you know, I think all of us here are diaspora. We have these diaspora African roots. Um, and it sounds like for you, you have these strong connections with West Africa and you mentioned some of the similarities. So I'm curious to hear a little bit about what some of those similarities were for you and then for others as well, just what are some of the similarities, right? Like that might be music. It might be some of the other pieces that you picked up on in the film. Um, I guess one of the similarities I saw was the food. I thought it was like really, really similar to what I've seen like my grandparents make and my parents make sometimes. Um, also, also, it's kind of like the way people interacted with each other. It's not necessarily like a tangible thing, but you could see like the similarities in the way people interact with each other. And it's different than what I've seen at school. And I recognize it as a part of like this African culture. What are some of those differences? Like, can you name some of the ways that you, you saw that show up? Um, well, I guess in the graduation scene, the celebration may be a lot different than if it was here where we were graduating, like people would be like screaming and happy, but there it was, it just felt different. I don't know how to like describe it in the clearest terms, but I really enjoyed seeing that because I was able to tie that to like family experience and seeing like relatives celebrating and like just having that sense of like togetherness, which I thought was really cool. Something I felt like I had, I could see in common was like, uh, kind of earlier in the film when they were talking about, um, they were sort of talking about how their institutions were constructed um, and how they felt like the sort of the whole world that they were existing in was built by like this older generation. I feel like that's definitely similar to the world that I feel like I'm living in right now. Um, and, and also just like the way that they talk about like, figuring out how to change the system and stuff like that. That's that those are those are those are conversations that I feel like I see happening around me and I feel like I'm engaging in as well. So it's kind of interesting to see how that's like even even on in like like places of in the world that are so like geographically separated from each other, uh, young people are still kind of having those same conversations about how they can sort of take control and make the world better. So that was that was cool to see. Yeah. Uh, I also come from West African roots, and one similarity I saw was between West Africa and Central Africa was uh, West Africa, there's a lot of French-speaking people, and the native language has a lot of fr French in it, and which I saw in the film, there were a lot of French speakers too.
Excellent. Thank you all so much. Yes. I mean, I think like I, it, hearing you all speak almost makes me want to go back and watch the film another time and pick up on some of the things that you all are seeing. Um, and I think some of you might have touched on some of this, but like, what are some of the um, experiences that were different or something you want to learn more about that you saw in the film? Um, I suppose for me, one of the biggest differences was the way people like spoke about the professors and interacted with them because like Catlin it's a little bit different like they're trying to foster like that teacher student bond that's more of like a friendship rather than like the traditional teacher student and it was interesting to see like the difference in culture between the relationship between the professors and students with one side holding like a lot of power in that relationship so that's one of the big differences I saw throughout the film. Uh, one difference I saw was that in Central Africa, the people there face a lot of issues that I don't face, for example, the poverty there. And I feel like it just helped me like straighten my gratefulness for what I have because they deal with like issues I've never experienced. And I think it just helped me realize all the amazing opportunities and research resources I have and the great teachers I have that aren't corrupt. And I'm able to talk with them and form amazing bonds with them. That's awesome to hear. Yeah, Malcolm. Well, yeah, I kind of, I wanted to agree with Papa. I feel like the, the thing that I noticed that felt like it was the most different was the uh just like the way that the the teacher like the professors in the film seem to be taking advantage of the the power that they held over students um, and how it seemed to be entirely arbitrary um the results of the various tests and things that people in the film took um seemingly regardless of the effort that they put into like studying for those exams or um preparing for them it seemed like it was kind of like their, I don't know, just the, their futures were sort of, I don't know, kind of tossed up to fate in a way, um, which I feel like is very much the opposite of what uh, what I experienced here um, in a, a school that's like full of resources and um, very much oriented towards the success of the students. Um, it just seemed like, yeah, it was. It's a different different kind of structure, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think like as you all are bringing up resources and and Eugenie, you feel free to to chime in here too. Um, just thinking about scenes like like sharing a shower for the sake of of saving water, right? And for me, like having traveled to East Africa, just thinking about the commodity of water, and it's something you think about every day, right? Um, so I feel like throughout the film, yes, we're following students and we're following this like learning experience, but we also have a window into just all of the other things that that have to be thought about that I think in the United States and particularly like within uh, it sounds like the the privileged experience that that the five of us have. We're not necessarily, conscious of all of the day-to-day -day, like resources that go into um, just living, right? I also was struck by um, toward the end of the film, that poor goat, right? <laughs> like, and I remember being at Catlin Gable and you, you all used to have goats. I don't know if you have goats anymore, but I remember in the day y'all had goats and I was just like, oh, this is like such a such a different way of like thinking about like this animal, you know. Yeah, I'm curious um, for each of you, what uh, person in the documentary that you may have gravitate gravitated to? Which which part of the story did you gravitate to? To any of the people that were the main folks in the in the documentary?
And was there any one, any particular one that you like more of how their their journey was going or were you rooting for them or or were you sort of like, ah, you know, they're all right. Well, I can't exactly remember all of their names, but um, I think the one who didn't pass kind of struck me like really clearly because the way the film was going, like they were all studying a couple of issues came up, but it seemed like they would all like graduate and then we moved to like a different phase in the movie. But going back to like the party and the music, it kind of made it more relatable because like I do sports and other like competitive things and the best way to move forward in that regard is to succeed and seeing like how they navigate failure and how similar it is or it can be to like my own personal experience was like really eye-opening and it kind of got me to root for him for a little bit, but you know. Uh, one of the scenes I enjoyed was the scene where the front group, even though one of the students didn't pass, the front group still decided to have a party with him and stayed loyal to him. And I found that really intriguing since lots of times people will succeed and one won't and they'll just act like that other person isn't part of their group and they won't stay loyal to that person. So I found that really interesting and heartwarming. Um, I think the, the character and also the, scene, the scenes that sort of stood out to me, um, I believe, I think there was one of the students who was, who appeared in some of the scenes where he was like with a cart and they were like selling uh, selling things and then in the in one of the final scenes um the like they were getting roughed up by the police and like they were stealing some of their or like they were taking away some of their stuff that just I don't know that just struck me as like really I don't know I felt I felt a lot of empathy for that character just because I feel like it's I mean it's one thing to be working really hard at a school and like doing um doing all of that stuff to try and build one's own future and then also um having to having to like make like have a job like that that's also seemingly pretty difficult um and and facing this sort of um i mean i don't know exactly it wasn't really clear to me why it was that they were uh uh being sort of uh pushed around by the police in that later scene but it just seemed like i mean it's just a struggle like it was it was pretty it's pretty tough to watch that i think it felt pretty emotionally intense because I, I think I feel like I saw um on that character's face a lot of the sort of pain that he was going through um, mm -hmm. in those scenes so that was pretty emotionally moving for me yes I agree and and um I think usually your question is so beautiful about like you know thinking about the the characters that we connected with um and i guess for me it like connects to what papa said about the music really making some of those connections for me and what is interesting to know about the director rafiki fariala um is that he first of all like is in the film and these are his friends like he was at the very beginning doing sort of like the spoken word the verse um those vocals um, but he also is is you know looking to really amping up his his music career. So this was you know a film and and now I think he's like really invested in like making music. Um, so it's so interesting to see that thread throughout because those were the most human moments for me. Those are the moments that I felt most connected with when there was like music happening and dance happening. Uh, can I uh, say something too? I was also really inspired by the the music part of it. I feel like that was really, I mean, it's like it's a beautiful thing to inc uh, include in a documentary. I feel like the the thing that made it, this whole thing so interesting to me was how I kept sort of weaving in and out of feeling like, oh, it's a story, and then kind of going back to realize like this is no, this is actually real. Um, like these are real people and real experiences. Um, and I feel like that's that's the thing that really made this film the most impactful for me was how and and like because because some in some of the scenes they were like like at 
at one point he was talking about how he wanted to like make movies and like that was his thing that was what he was going to do um and then there was the one the one scene where um one of the characters was talking about how it's like am i going to connect am i going to connect with am i ever going to see you again after this is over like i just it was like questioning himself how whether he felt like he was a character in the film or whether he was like living this reality it was just it was really beautiful and i feel like the music kind of emphasized that sort of like that was the thing that bridged the gap for me because like the music was telling the story but it was also kind of the fact that it was written i mean or the fact that it was sung by the person who's making the film just kind of it connects those two realities to me i agree with that and i think that what stood out to me like most and all like out of the entire movie was the very end where they were all in a circle singing about how they had faith i think the music in that scene it just felt like so human like you could feel that it was a story but it was happening like it it was a story in the making in a sense very poetic but that's how it felt it was um really eye-opening to me i really enjoyed that yeah and going off what malcolm said uh i also really enjoyed how the characters basically like broke the fourth law fourth wall and it was as if they were kind of talking to us and there was a character behind the camera and I just I just really enjoyed that and I think that it's what made this film unique in its own way well said y'all well, I mean, for me, I have one kind of big last question, which is, do you think that this, you know, our festival is really built around um, sharing films by African directors throughout the month of Black History Month? Um, and in the 33rd year of our festival, it's so powerful to be able to connect with you all, because really this is such an honor that you all have watched the film that you're participating in this way. So I'm curious, do you think that sharing an African perspective through film is important to folks your age? Um, and if so, why? Or why not? Um, I think it's absolutely important. Like, even though I have strong ties to like West Africa family-wise, and I get a lot of stories from grandparents. It's good to see that like there are other places to learn about, you know, cause I can get in this mindset that like, all right, I have family here. I know what Africa is like, even though I've never been there, you know, but seeing other people's experiences from different places and seeing the similarities and differences allows us to actually relate to people whose experiences are way different from ours kind of find that common human bond. I agree 100%. I think it's totally necessary. And it first most allows us to learn about our own culture, but allows us to perceive how others who don't come from the same roots, how they live life and how in different parts of Africa, they live and we're able to look at the similarities and the differences. And I think that's very, very important. Yeah, I mean, I have to agree um, with both of you. I mean, I feel like uh, for me, I don't, I don't entirely know uh, what, like, what part of Africa my ancestors are from. Um, my family has not kept incredible records on this. Um, so, uh, all I guess that to say, um, I feel like it's really, it's really important. It was really impactful for me to have. Um, to have to have a new per, sort of perspective on uh like what what life is like there that's not like an outsider perspective you know like i feel like what the, ma the majority of the the information about africa that i take in be it modern or historical is from an outsider perspective um be it like journalism or um or like just you know history um and so i feel like it's so it's i feel like it's really really important to sort of see as as close to firsthand uh what what that sort of like what what life is like there i feel like it's i mean it's impactful 
um, for everyone who has a connection to that place, uh, however, however many generations that the connection is removed. So well said, y'all. I, I feel like um, right now in this moment, I'm missing being at Catlin Gable. I know it was 20 years ago that I was there, but y'all brought it in this space right now. I love how you're building off of each other's ideas. Um, and to me, this was like the best conversation we could have after a film like this. So I'm so grateful that you all are here. We're going to let you get back to your studies because I know you're staying up late at night, getting your homework done. Um, but thank you all so much for being here and um, we wish you the best. We hope you stay connected to the film festival, um, you and your friends for years to come. Thank you again. Thank you for having us. We appreciate thank it. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Yeah.